they talked to him because now he's walking off dark property to smoke a cigarette. There he goes. They talked to him, but they did not do as they were ordered by firing him. So whoever is responsible for not doing what they were ordered to do of firing him, which is everybody from his supervisor up, will be fired. This is the man that I caught smoking on dark property yesterday morning. He is currently driving bus number 42045. Route 549, and we are at the Cockrell Hill Station, and it is 9.01 a.m., Wednesday, August 19th, 2015. The drivers fired every bit yesterday, and every bit of wage and benefit that he takes past yesterday he is done so by conspiracy fraud and conspiracy larceny as two felonies to which he will be charged with along with all his supervisors that allowed him to stay on. They will be charged with that as well. That's where the conspiracy statute comes in, when two or more people are involved in the crime. His supervisors allowed him to stay on when I ordered him fired. That's a conspiracy to defraud and conspiracy larceny for all wages and benefits that he takes past yesterday, which Yesterday was Tuesday, August 18th, 2015, and it was about 7.35 in the morning, as I recall. The video was posted on YouTube, and it was given as evidence of, for his firing at DART by Dallas Area Rapid Transit, to which I am the founder and sole owner of Dallas Area Rapid Transit.